That was smooth. Let's just dab, 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 dab. Is it blended? Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Let me zoom you in to show you my earrings today. So these absolutely gorgeous wildflower star earrings are from the brand Fostering Flowers, which was started by my friend Mary, who I went to college with, which is so cool. Love to support friends' small businesses. But basically her whole business revolves around taking actual dried flowers from where she lives in California and putting them into beautiful jewelry. She also makes home decor. I have this beautiful little, I don't know what to call it. It's like a picture, but with flowers in it. It's so pretty. It's see-through, but you can see it has these beautiful pressed wildflowers in it. And her stuff is just so freaking cool. You guys should totally check out Fostering Flowers. This is my first purchase I made from them jewelry-wise. Obviously, I have the other thing before, but it definitely will not be my last because these are just absolutely freaking beautiful. But that's not what this video is about. About. You did not click on this video to see the most beautiful press wildflower earrings you've ever seen in your entire life. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in me trying some TikTok makeup hacks. Now the big one that I'm gonna be trying, that I'm pretty sure I'm making the title of this video, is I am going to be trying making my own liquid eyeliner using micellar water and eyeshadow. I mentioned this in the last video I posted, which was how to do graphic liner with eyeshadow, that I really wanted to try the TikTok hack, and I should say most TikTok makeup hacks are not always like original ideas. It's just like they go viral on TikTok. So I'm not trying to say that the girl that like made this TikTok go viral is like the inventor of this technique, but I did really want to try the micellar water and liner hack. I'm also going to be trying a couple of other TikTok makeup hacks, one of them being the dot contour method. There's been a TikTok going around where you basically just do a single dot right where like your teeth would be, and then you just buff it out that way, and it looks even more natural, so I'm very interested in that. And I'm also going to be trying the iconic TikTok trend of using your brow pencil as lip liner, your blush as lipstick, and then a gloss, and that's supposed to be the perfect lip combo. Now, with my dark brows, I'm very skeptical of that one, but hey, we're gonna be trying it all here today, and if they don't work out, I'm certainly gonna let you know. So, if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to see me try some TikTok makeup hacks, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. All right, so we're going to start with the micellar water eyeliner hack. I'm very excited to try this one. If you missed my last video doing graphic liner as eyeshadow, I did try making my own eyeliner using a mixing medium in that video, and it definitely had its pros and cons. I'm not sure it's something I'll reach for every day, so I'm wondering if the micellar water is going to make it even easier. This is the TikTok that I am inspired by going off of for this video, and you can see that they dip their brush into micellar water. They dip it right into a color colorful eyeshadow and it looks like they basically just created their own graphic liner without having to use a water activated liner, a cake liner, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow palette that I used in my how to do graphic liner with eyeshadow video just so we can go off of the same formula comparing it to the mixing medium versus the micellar water and I put up a poll on my Instagram asking which color you guys wanted me to do. I gave you a few different choices and oh my gosh the results are so close between the hot pink and turquoise but it won by literally one vote. So, I guess we're gonna be going in with the color Chase, this gorgeous hot pink. I have a couple different brushes I want to try it out with. The girl in the video seemed to be using, like, a liner brush like this, like a super thin tip one, which I'm, like, skeptical of, but okay. And then I have my regular little angled liner brush from Odin's Eye that I'll use if that doesn't work out. So, basically, like you saw on the TikTok, she just goes, like, right into the micellar water. Is mine gonna reach? That's okay. I have to tilt it a little bit. But she just goes right into the micellar water and, like, soaks the brush and now I'm gonna go into the side of my pan because I will say I've heard from a lot of people that doing this can give your eyeshadows hard pan or break them down so I'm gonna dip into the side because I freaking love this Blend Bunny Blends palette and I do not want to ruin it. Okay I'm gonna start close to the lash line Okay, okay, that's that's pretty smooth so far. Um, the color is definitely darkened the color, adding the micellar water to it. I also keep having to dip back into the micellar water because you get like one swipe and then it's all dried out. It is working though, which I gotta admit, I didn't think it was gonna go on this smoothly because when I did it with the mixing medium, I got a lot more chunks that I'm getting here, so that's exciting. 
Okay, honestly, that looks way better than I thought it was gonna look. And it looks way better, or at least was way easier than mixing my eyeshadow with a mixing medium. Because if you saw that video, the mixing medium was just getting like super pasty, super thick. That one I also had to dip back in every two seconds, but I do not feel like it was as smooth as this. But it could also be the brush. Maybe the brush is making the difference? I did not think this was gonna pick up very well, or be this opaque to begin with. Because I feel like I saw a couple people do it, and they had to layer up the liner quite a bit to get it to like this level of opacity, but maybe it's just the Blend Bunny formula being fantastic and pigmented. But wow! I think I'm gonna dip into the turquoise too since the votes were pretty much like evenly split between that, and I'll do that for my additional graphic liner line. The nice thing about using micellar water is it's super easy to clean the brush afterwards because it already has makeup remover on it. So I dipped into some more micellar water and now I'm gonna dip into this gorgeous turquoise shade submerged in the Blend Bunny Blend palette. Alright, now let's see how it works doing graphic liner up here. Ooh, that was smooth. <laughs> Color me absolutely shocked. Wow, this hack is going way better than I expected. I, I gotta admit, I kind of thought that this was gonna be a fail and that I was gonna have to like hop off camera and then do some other graphic liner and then come back and try the other hacks, but it's going really well so far. I did dip back into some more micellar water and a little bit more product just to layer over this. Okay, so I did make a little bit of a mistake with my shape, which is fine, because now I'm gonna test whether or not I can take just some micellar water on a Q-tip and wipe it away. Ooh, I forgot to rip the hat off my Q-tip. I forgot to do my own trick. A little makeup hack for you. So what you do is you rip the little hat, as I call it, off the Q-tip, because it gives you a more precise edge to fix mistakes. It does still have micellar water on it. Don't worry, it was like super saturated. The only thing with wiping it away with a Q-tip with micellar water is it does smudge kind of easily since like that's what it's made of. So you do have to be careful just to be precise with it and maybe get a clean Q-tip to go over it afterwards, just dry. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is do these same steps on the other eye and then we'll come back and try the rest of my TikTok makeup hacks. All right, hello, I'm back. I did the same thing on the other eye and added some mascara and I have some more thoughts. I know I should save my thoughts to the end, but like. Like, you want to hear them now. So while I think this hack works, I don't like it and I don't prefer it to my water activated liners. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're someone who just wants to start practicing graphic liner and you don't have any water activated liners, then absolutely do this. Just be very careful. Definitely only use the side of the pan because I can already see the hard pan and it's like breaking my heart because I love my Blend Bunny Blend Spell so much, but it's okay. I'm just gonna chip it off later. But definitely use the very corner of your eyeshadow pan. And the other thing is, let me zoom you in even more. I don't know if you can see, there are some little inconsistent spots that I tried to fix and layer up, but the issue with using a micellar cleansing water is that it's cleansing and it's trying to take it away. So normally with my water activated liners, I can go back in with a little bit of water and clean up spots like this, but because this water is not regular water, you know, it's a cleansing water, it's trying to remove it. So even when I dipped in with more product, there's still just a couple inconsistent areas and I really don't like the way the smudging looked here when I tried to fix it with Q-tip, but I'll cover that with concealer later. Hi, hello, unexpected update. It's been three hours since I filmed and I had to hop on here because I don't know if you can see on my phone very well, but it has very much transferred to my lid. The liner has, I should say. And I don't know if you can see it's smudging down here too. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that this micellar water liner hack is not hooded eye friendly because it's literally beautiful out today. It's like 55 degrees, so it's not even super hot. I have not left the house since filming this. My water activated liners typically do not transfer to my crease like this. So yeah, that makes this, that makes this even more of a pass for me. But okay, so now we're gonna move on to the contouring hack. And I'm super excited about this one because I'm not great at contouring. I don't contour most of the time. Most of the time I just stick to my blush and bronzer and I don't even attempt contour. So basically the idea is that you do just a dot instead of a stripe and that's supposed to make it look more pinpointed and natural. It's supposed to recreate a natural shadow on your face better because that's what contour is. That's the difference between bronzer and contour is bronzer is supposed to add warmth. You know, you put it where the sun would naturally hit 
hit you and where you get a tan. If you weren't wearing sunscreen, please wear sunscreen. But with contour, it's all about adding like natural shadows. And if you have a nice round face like me, I don't have a whole lot of natural shadows. So I'm interested in this hack. So I'm gonna dip into my NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. I'm using this Shop Miss A High Def E104 brush just because I think it's gonna give me that perfect circle that the person in the video had. And basically they said the placement is supposed to be like where your teeth would be. So like your teeth go all the way back here, right where your molars are. So I'm gonna start a little dot. So I keep feeling with my tongue, like where do my teeth end? Like right here is where my molars are. So that's where I'm gonna put my dot. Oh, it looks so awk. Did I put too much on? Okay, uh, mm, it looks bad. I'm already wearing blush and bronzer, by the way. Maybe I should have done this first, but honestly, I, I don't know. And I wanted to put blush and bronzer on first, so that's what I did. In the same place on this side, it's hard to get just like a dot. It looks, it looks so weird right now. We are gonna blend it out though. Okay, so I just rewatched the video and honestly, there is not a ton of explanation. She just kind of softly blends it out. So I'm gonna go in with my flat top kabuki brush, which I used for my foundation, bronzer, and blush. And she kind of just goes like that. Oh my goodness, I hope this works out. Okay, it's blending a little bit. I can you can you see the lack of confidence right now? She also used the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, which I have heard is like effortless to blend out. So maybe if I had used that, it would be blending better. I'm gonna try just like going like this. Let's just dab 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 dab. Is it blended? Okay, let's let's move to the other side for a second. And I'm gonna dab, 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 dab. That side looks better, I think. Like, yes, there is a, a shadow there. I don't, mm, I, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think on this one because I'm not sure this technique suits my face shape. I feel like it's just looking muddy. It's not looking like a natural shadow. I mean, maybe I blended it poorly. Like I said, she used like a luxury product too, whereas I used my little NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. Maybe I should have put less to begin with. I don't know, it's just, it doesn't seem to be working on my round face shape, but you guys let me know. Maybe I just don't contour enough and like this is what it's supposed to look like and maybe I just don't like the look of it. Let me know if you feel like I did the hack wrong or if there's a way I could fix it. At certain angles, I'm like, okay, look at her with a little cheekbone. That's not normally there, but also it just doesn't look natural to me. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. If you have any contouring hacks for me, I know people have been using that contour face chart. I'm not even trying that, okay? Because that would put my contour up here. Absolutely not. No thank you, no interest in that hack at all. But yeah, let me know if you have any contouring hacks for me because I'm not sure this one's the one. Okay, so, sorry, just wiping off whatever lip balm I had left. So our last hack is a lip hack that I am both excited and terrified for. I feel like it would be hard to have not seen this TikTok at this point. I don't wanna use the audio because I don't wanna get copyright struck. But basically, this creator who created this hack says that your perfect lip combo will be your eyebrow pencil used as like a lip liner and then your blush used in like the center of your lips and then cover it with a gloss. So I have my Honest Beauty eyebrow pencil in the shade Ash Brunette. It's very dark. I don't even wear lip liner normally. So this is out of my comfort zone, but I'm still excited about it. And then the blush I wore today is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. So at least I have a liquid to work with. And this is super pigmented, so hopefully that will help us work with the deep color. And then with gloss, it seems like most people just go in with a clear gloss. So that's what we're gonna go for. So let me get my little mirror and start aligning my lips with my dark brown lip liner. Okay, that's wild. That looks way less dark than it normally looks on my eyebrows. All right. I'm so impressed. I gotta stop talking. I'm so impressed by those of you who line your lips every day because this is so hard. <laughs> Let me know if you have any lip lining hacks because I want to get better. We're looking a little rough right now, but I'm gonna fill it in with the blush and see if that helps. Now this Rare Beauty blush is so freaking pigmented. I usually use like a single dot on the back of my hand and then I go in with a brush and I like dab a bunch off. It's just, it's very pigmented so I'm gonna try to go in lightly let's just use my finger because I feel like going in with the applicator is unsanitary <laughs> you can see she's pigmented try to make sure I go over the liner liner brow pencil so it's like blended but without fully covering it okay okay from a distance it doesn't look terrible <laughs> let me go over it with a gloss now maybe the gloss will really tie it all together what do we think 
Mm, uh, let me zoom in more. Let me zoom in more. I don't know, you guys. I feel like I I like the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush as a lipstick. I've worn this as lipstick before. I think it's a super pretty lip color. I feel like this is a really versatile product. I put it on my eyes before too. It's really good at being multi-use. But mm, this is just looking a little off to me. I feel like because it's a, a cool tone shade, like I use the shade Ash Brunette, it's just looking like a little muddy, kind of like the contour. We're just looking a little muddy. It looks like I maybe tried to contour my lips, but with the wrong shade. Because I have dark eyebrows and very pale skin, I just feel like it looks a little off. And if I were to use like an actual lip contour shade that were more suited for my skin tone, I think this would be a lot cuter. I do love the gloss and blush combo though. It's very pretty. I feel like from a distance, let me zoom you out. From a distance, well, from a distance kind of just looks like I have food on my lip. Like I feel like it looks like maybe I took a sip of coffee and have like a little coffee around my lips. I don't know, it's hard to judge myself because up close it's like, mm, it just looks off, it just looks a little off. But from a distance, it's hard for me to tell. You guys let me know what you think. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. These are all of my TikTok makeup hacks. It has been a roller coaster of a video. I feel like we started off on a really strong strong note and then throughout that strong note I realized that I didn't like the, the eyeliner hack as much just because like I said I feel like the micellar water like yes it creates a nice smooth consistency but also it's a cleansing water and if you use too much it's just gonna wipe it away I would stick with you know just using a setting spray or a mixing medium if you want to try out this hack I did that in my last video which I'll link down below if you want to check that out and I feel like that was easier to clean up like I didn't have this smudging issue that I've had with this one when using a mixing medium. So I would recommend that instead. Now for the contour hack, I'm jury's out on this one. You guys are absolutely gonna have to let me know how you think it looks. I'm definitely gonna keep testing this one and I would love to hear your advice on how to contour for a round face because I don't know what I'm doing. And for the lip, you just heard me say everything about the lip. I just think I don't have the right hair color for this hack and the lip looks a little bit wonky, but it does make me wanna go buy a lip liner because I do like the contrast part of it. The color is a little off for me, but I like the contrast the attempted lip contour going on here. So let me know your favorite lip contour shades. Preferably drugstore, I didn't like to spend a lot of money, but yeah, overall, I still had a grand old time. It was really fun testing out these hacks for you. Definitely subscribe if you wanna see me test out some more TikTok makeup hacks. Please send me your favorite TikTok makeup hacks. I am on TikTok. I don't post a ton on there, but it's at ClamGeoNYC there too. It's also my Instagram handle. Send me the TikToks on Instagram, send them to me on TikTok. I would love to see them and test them out for you on YouTube. So I thank you so much for watching. Check out my description box for all of the other makeup on my face today. Also my description box, I'll have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, resources to support the LGBTQ plus community, and resources to support Ukraine. So I'd really appreciate it if you checked out those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!